Hi guys and welcome again to my channel. This is April and if you are new to my channel, please don't be shy and you can feel free to browse my old episodes. So for today's episode, I will be unboxing in Palace new Pink Tartans Quad Roller Skates. So I have been into roller skating the past month already. I started last February 22 and the day has come to mark my official first month into roller skating. In a month, I probably received three different roller skates already which are my SFR and my two Moxie Beach Bunny roller skates. Unfortunately, the second Moxie Beach Bunny that I bought was in a wrong size so I have to give that to my sister. So these two Impalas right here would probably be my third and fourth roller skates. Just a quick disclaimer that I've learned and read that there are some Impala skates that are actually having some issues when it comes to their boots or the heel tearing itself. And there are also issues regarding races and such things. I just want to point out that although there are bad reviews that I get to see, there are also some good comments that I get to hear and I get to read from different websites and different pages that I follow on Facebook. But then again, some issues are definitely something to really discuss about and be raised into. But so far into my roller skating journey, I just really want to be happy and very appreciative that there's a certain design that I get to buy in this roller skating journey of mine. All right, so I bought three items from impalaskates.com and everything right there is an AUD. Just a short story, I tried ordering my first roller skates in Impala. Unfortunately, they don't deliver directly from Australia way back February directly to Philippines. So I kind of hesitated and I really browsed the internet on where I can buy roller skates without actually having some third party or middleman into those delivery. So I bought my first roller skates in rollerskateshop.com which you can actually watch right here. And then I get to see that there is a new design that Impala will be launching which is the Pink Tartan. And luckily days ago I get to visit their website again in hopes that there's already an option if they could deliver directly to the Philippines. And yes, there is. So my packages have arrived and um, I've received them via DHL on-demand delivery. For the waiting time, I placed an order last March 6. Then it got shipped after 6 days, which is March 12. Then today, I get to receive the item. So all in all, I think the waiting time is a total of 22 days if I'm not mistaken. But it came very fast and the transaction was really smooth, especially with how DHL handled my packages. So the total cost of the three items that I purchased in Impala in Philippine Peso currency is probably 12,451 pesos. There's also a customs fee which is amounting to 3,453 pesos. I know I have probably said too much and the thing that you're most excited about is seeing the skates itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Alright, so the first item that I purchased in Impala website itself is of course my adult protective set pads. And this is a three-piece safety gear pack in size medium. So this is all pink just the way I want it because I wanted it to match to my pink tartan boots. And of course my other pink roller skates. So yeah, it is perfect for me. I haven't tried this on yet so I'm not sure if medium really fits into my elbows because the rear roller protective set in size small actually fits well to my elbows so now I am not quite sure if medium would actually fit in to my elbows but definitely to my legs I know that I am in size medium and I have tried the wrist guards earlier and it also fits nicely so yeah that's about it and I'll share to you some clips that I'm already trying it on so that you would know what it looks like when worn in a morena skin tone now let's go and unbox the first roller skates that I get to purchase from Impala. That is their sky blue slash yellow quad roller skates. So yeah, I will open up the box right here and show you what it looks like and of course describe it as much as I can. So my point of comparison for this is of course my SFR figure quad roller skates and my Moxie Beach Bunny roller skates. So upon opening this box, you'll already see the shoes itself and of course it comes with a card which has or which states their three month 
warranty. So in case there's something wrong that happens into my shoes, I can count on this extended warranty. And I think Impala will shoulder all the fees and at the same time replace the shoes itself for free. So now, let me show you what the skates looks like. So as you can see, I have removed it in the plastic and to show you a closer look, this is what it looks like. It really looks like a pastel blue in color while at the same time for the wheels, it's in a shade of pastel yellow as well. For the stoppers, it's it has a fixed stopper and a metal plate in the middle. And for the ankle support, it is well padded. One thing I can say upon opening this package that I didn't get to experience from opening my Mox skates and my SFR quad skates is the smell. It has a strong smell of paint but with the interiors itself it is really padded. Comparing it to my Moxie Beach Bunny skates, um, this edges are somehow still bendable or pressable as you can see right here the tongue is also padded and it feels sturdy to me i don't know if it's gonna last at least two weeks on my end but so far i'm still a beginner in skating and i'm not doing any extreme activities yet and extreme movements when it comes to skating so i do hope that this boots last a long time then again, um, worst to worst case scenario, if an issue happens before my 3 month warranty, then I can definitely just contact Impala and have this boot replaced. So I'll be trying on these boots as well later so that you would see how it looks like on my feet. I'll probably do my best to describe what it feels like to use indoors because probably here in Manila right now, we're in home quarantine so we cannot go to court and actually test it outside. But I'll do my best to describe it as much as possible in using it indoors. So yeah, that's about the boots. And now let's go to, of course, the boots that I'm really looking forward into, the pink tartan quad skate boots. So I'm very excited about this one. And of course, if you're going to be asking my size, I first measured my feet into centimeters and my feet actually measures into 20.9 centimeters. I'm usually in UK3, but I get to ask their customer service first if that is the best option that I'd go with if I have this size and they actually recommend that I take UK2 for Impala skates. If you're also wondering which could be the best shoe size for you, you can definitely message them. I find them very responsive as they have replied to my concern regarding their roller skate size in which I would need to buy. So upon opening the beautiful box, you'll immediately see again the Impala warranty card. So I'll just give you a closer look about that. And of course, some manuals that are in here as well. And I know you're excited about this, so here she comes. Ta-da! Okay, so I just need to remove it from the plastic first. And yes, it definitely looks amazing. It looks pretty and it looks very Barbie for me. It looks very girly and at the same time, same comments to what I have mentioned earlier. It has a strong scent of paint which I can't explain. Uh, wheels itself, it has a strong pink color and for the boot itself, it has a mixture of pink and yellow in checkered style. The color of the laces right here is also the same color of the wheels and for the stoppers it also has a fixed stopper right here and a metal plate as for the boots itself it is also the same as the blue one definitely pressable and at the same time all padded and um yeah inside you'll get to pull out some crunch of papers i will also be trying this on in a bit and show you what it looks like and actually do my best to describe how it feels like to test it indoors all right so that's about the boots itself now let's try it on and see if it works well so if you'll also be trying your skates and you're still a beginner like me don't forget to buy your protective sets and wear your gears always safety always comes first right now see you in a bit
and completely worn. I'm wearing my wrist guards, my elbow pads, my knee pads, and of course my special butt pad from Shopee. Of course, the new pink tartan quad roller skates from Impala. A few comments that I want to share is that I don't really feel um, that sturdiness feeling that I get to feel from Moxie skates. It's not a bad thing. It's not an issue maybe for me. There's a really big difference when it comes to their boots altogether. So um, yeah, for the boots itself, um, one thing that I get to notice as well as a beginner is that it has a high or a very high stopper. Since because I am a beginner, it's kind of um, intimidating or overwhelming at least for me. So yeah, so this is what it looks like when I use the stopper. And as you can see, that's how high my foot at the back is gonna be lifted up when I try to use the stopper. And um, yeah, for the quality itself, when I try to put on and do some rolling in here, um, you could actually hear some squeaks from the vinyl boot itself or from the boot itself. And at the same time, you would actually hear some metal. When it comes to the wheels, I can also see the difference between my other boots from this because you would actually feel the ground more. And at the same time, actually feel slippery. Maybe it's just because of the wheels itself, the way it was adjusted. As for the ankle support and the padding right here that you get to see in the sides, the main concern that I have is how light or how easy it feels in not a very good way in this part the bottom part it feels like you're a little unsupported when it comes to the part no wonder why maybe there's some issues in line with the boot tearing and so on but up here onwards you actually feel protected so um yeah there's a lot of maybes in this review but i would definitely get back to you after a week so that we know if it's still good in the run all right guys so now i am wearing the impala sky blue slash yellow quad roller skates i can definitely tell a lot of difference from the first impala boots that i get to try on which is the pink tartan overall this boot feels much safer to me there's actually no squeaks when it comes to the boot itself and um, as for the comfort for the palm of my feet it actually feels a little better compared to the pink tartan boot that i have as for the wheels itself it also feels more sturdy compared to the other one and at the same time when it comes to the ankle support this i feel much stiffer compared to the pink tartan boot that i get to try on as for the stopper right here it's still high and a little bit overwhelming for me as a beginner so i think um i need some time to really dig in and actually train my feet for this height of stopper so this is actually the height of the stopper when um, when my feet is lifted and this is how high my feet is gonna look like when I try to stop. So yeah, um, I think we're ready to do some rolls inside the house and at the same time do some little drills wearing the Impala skates. <laughs> got home and to be honest I actually forgot to create an outro of my video just because I got really excited to try it on the roller skates and go outside and just to emphasize that I also follow the safety protocols which is in line with our quarantine that's happening right now which is wearing a mask and a face shield and I also just roller skate nearby our house that's about it I really had fun and if you have any questions don't
don't be shy i'd be happy to answer them for you just comment it away so yeah i hope you had fun as i am and if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and please hit that ring bell notification so you know what's coming out next this has been april and again thank you so much for watching my vlog see you on the next one